have three grandchildren. Robert, who is a freshman at Washington, uh, George Washington in Washington, D.C. He's graduating in music, much to his grandma's distress. He's applied for graduate school now. A very smart boy, but lazy. <laughs> and then I have the two little ones, who are Jim's children. Jade is nine years old. She's in Disneyland today for her birthday. And Marcus is five. I've traveled a lot. I love to travel. I've been to most countries. Uh, I'm getting ready to go to Brazil now in, um, May, in January. And in March, I'm going to go down to the Copper Canyon in uh, Mexico. I've gone on two missions with my church. I went to the Dominican Republic and I went to Guatemala and worked with different groups there. Um, but back to adventure, how about a world travels? <laughs> Well, her African safari, for yeah, instance. We we didn't participate with that one, uh, but we know, do know and saw some pictures of her trip to Africa for a, a safari. Uh, we also know that she and a mutual friend of ours went on a round-the-world tour uh, with many many stops, and we were fortunate. Dee and I were fortunate enough to uh, coordinate our trip to Europe with their trip around the world and we met up with the Virginia and Jerry in Budapest. She likes to go anywhere. I told her now she's going to Norway that, and I've only been there once and that's my mother's, uh, well my grandparents came from Norway. So I said well if, if that fizzles out you know give me a call because she's going with, the, with her sister Nancy. Yeah, she loves to travel, but what is so great about it, she comes back and shares it with us. It's just, you know, a first-hand experience, and that's been nice. I love to travel. Um, I've been around the world one time. I've been to most countries. I've not been to India, and I'm not interested in going to India. This year, I went to the Eastern Europe and went down the river, went to eight different countries. Uh, next year, I'm going to go to Norway. I went on two missions with my church. I went to Guatemala one year, and the other year I went to the Dominican Republic. But I do like to travel. Oh, she does love to travel. She goes everywhere. Uh, she had, I don't know where she hasn't been yet, but um, she does love to travel. It's almost a passion for her. And I have had the I um, have had the opportunity to travel a couple times with her. She and I did the tour of uh, the Holy Land together, and that was great. And then her son Jim uh, gave me the um, opportunity to go on two cruises with her, one the Caribbean uh, through the Panama Canal and the Alaskan cruise on um, Holland America lines. And we just really had a good time. I think probably one of the most exciting things I've ever done was go and watch a liftoff of the spaceship. Um, my grandson was given this for a birthday present one year, and he needed somebody to go with him. I thought I was going to provide transportation, uh, the air ticket and things to go to um, Florida. And when I got there, I was permitted to go too. And I think that's the most exciting thing. You know, you're concerned because we were sitting with the family of the group that were on the on the spaceship, and what if it didn't, you know, if, what if an accident happened there? And I think that was the one after the big accident. And we were concerned about that, but that was so exciting because everything went well, but oh. You know, when I look back, I don't have a lot of regrets. I hear people say they have a lot of regrets. I don't have a lot of regrets because my church has sort of influenced me along the way. So, And Bob, I think that Bob really did influence my life and where I am today. So I appreciate that. And my parents. Well, I, th I think to have faith and I think to... Um, no right and wrong. I think that's really important. Um, to learn to make the right decisions. I mean, sometimes we can make decisions that aren't good for us, and I think that we have to think about 
um, if you make the decision, you're going to live with the results. And I think it's really important that we do learn to make right decisions. And I think, hope my boys do that. I don't think I have any unfilled uh, dreams. I, I don't think so. I think, I think I'm satisfied where I am. Hmm? Oh, I just hope I just hope that they remember me as being kind, considerate, understanding, being fair. I'm sure that sometimes along the ways the boys didn't think I was fair, especially Ed. But I think I was. I mean, I had to be tough sometimes, but I think that's part of it. She is such a sincere friend. I I feel comfortable with with, with her. You know, there just there isn't anything I really can't talk to Virginia about. She always had, um, she's a wonderful listener. She doesn't offer advice, but if you ask her, she may, you know, say, well, I might do this or that. But um, she's just such a loyal friend. I love being with her. We never get tired of talking. Well, I think she's going to be remembered by a lot of people with, with very similar sentiments to ours. Um, we're not the only people that are involved in her life. I mean, she... She has traveled with others, she has gone places, she's done things for many, many other people, and, and uh, um, she has a, a wonderful son in Washington, D.C. that uh, she goes to visit and, and uh, is crazy about those grandkids. So, yeah, I think she's going to be remembered with sentiments that are very, very similar to ours, but by many, many other people. She will be remembered for her loyalty, her loyalty to her husband, her loyalty to her family, to her three sons, um, and her love for them, and the fact that uh, she prays for them, she cares about every aspect of their life. I think she'll be remembered um, as a wonderful grandmother, as a giver, and thoughtfulness. And she laughs a lot. Oh, Virginia will be remembered probably as um, a warm, friendly, caring woman. I think even the students from school always felt comfortable. And our kids always liked Mrs. Lynn Tott, you know, the school nurse. And so uh, it's a compliment when people say, hi, Mrs. Lynn Tott, to me, because um, she's just so special. Well, she would. A room in their brand new library in Chehalis has just been named after her. So I was proud, to, I haven't seen it yet, but I was proud to hear that. <laughs>